Welcome to another episode of Brit Chat on Brit Space. Ah, let's just get into this video. Um, okay, so I have gotten so many questions about about so many things, and I feel like I always avoid topics, and then I get all these DMs and messages and questions, and then God's just like, Brittany, you just need to make a video about this and just be real, and as much as you want to, I don't even, it's not even that I don't want to be real, it's more of just that I don't feel equipped to give advice, um, and I just avoid it, but with that said, I'm getting into the real stuff on this video. Um, so I want to talk about infidelity. Um, in other words, what do you do when someone's cheated on you in a relationship? <sighs> Whether it's a marriage or you're dating. Um, and this is a topic that I have gotten so many messages on um, because it's 100% my life. Um, and I just want to chat about it and I don't even know if this is an advice video because I don't even know if I'm equipped to give advice at this point in my life. But I want to share with you what I've gone through and kind of what I am learning from it. What do you do when you have put 100% into a relationship and that person is unfaithful? Um, how do you move forward? What do you do? Um, so full disclosure, my marriage of eight years ended this past summer, um, and it wasn't by my choice. Um, I don't want to get into all the details because I just don't feel like it's necessary to go through all the nitty gritty details. Um, I have kids, and I feel like it's just not productive to go into all of the ins and outs and um, I never want to drag someone through the mud um, and I never want to put negativity out into the universe um, on someone else so I'm not going to do that but I will say um, my eight year marriage ended this past summer and it wasn't by my choice. Um, my significant other um, basically told me that marriage wasn't for him and it wasn't something that he felt he can continue in and I will say that infidelity was a really major part of why our marriage ended. Um, so speed up to advice, speed up to now. Um, people ask me constantly, Brittany, like how do I deal with this? You know, my husband of 30 years just walked out on me or I just found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me, like what do I do? Um, First and foremost, I say you take a moment to just take a deep breath because whether you've been dating someone for a year or six months or you've been married for 10 years or 30 years, um, having infidelity in your relationship is heartbreaking and it can be really, really, really hard to say the least. And and give yourself time to process those feelings and know that it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling, whether it's anger, whether it's sadness, whether it's denial, just feel those moments, feel that feeling for a moment. Um, next, I would say, you know, there's a lot of gray areas in this, you know, I am gonna speak from my personal um, viewpoint I can't speak to every relationship and I feel like it it's very much so a gray area infidelity um, and having a spouse cheat on you is definitely a gray area and I feel like it's easy to say oh you know go do this or you know if they cheat on you walk out and you're done but I don't feel like that's always the answer and I feel like you really have to be aware of what works for you and what your intuition is telling you um, because it's not a black and white issue. It's definitely a gray area. Um, I don't believe in that saying of once a cheater are always a che cheater. I just don't. I don't believe that's true. I think that people can make mistakes and I think that people can come back from those mistakes and be a different person. Um, for me personally, that wasn't necessarily the case and um, I dealt with infidelity in my marriage multiple times and I take my marriage vows very seriously so it wasn't necessarily for me one of those 
once you cheat I'm done kind of thing it was kind of like I take my vows very seriously and I want to work through this and I want to go to counseling and I want to do all the things I can to salvage my marriage but I feel like when someone tells you that they aren't happy and that they don't want to be in the relationship anymore that you have to listen to that and be willing to let go and this is where the advice that I'm willing to give would come in if you are in a relationship where the person is telling you, I'm not happy, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore, you need to let go. And I know as hard as that can be, um, sometimes it's just necessary. Um, so when you are letting go, I would say my biggest uh, advice or piece of something that can help is um, realizing that it is not all your fault. Um, granted, no one is perfect and no relationship is perfect and there's always multiple sides to every story, but I think that sometimes when a relationship ends because of infidelity or because the other person um, walks away, it can leave you feeling empty and can leave you feeling like, what did I do wrong? You know, Is it because of this or this or this? And I, I'm just here to tell you those are lies. Those are lies. You are 100% enough. Let me repeat. You are 100% enough. And even though your relationship or marriage didn't work, that doesn't mean that you are a failure. Um, there's tons of reason why um, a relationship or marriage ends and I feel like Satan wants to lie and whisper these things in our ears um, and tell us, you know, well, it's because you didn't look a certain way or it's because you didn't do this, this, and this, and this. But at the end of the day, if the person you're in a relationship with is not happy and they don't want to be with you, then don't fight it. Like, allow them to go because at the end of the day, you're not going to be happy and they're not going to be happy if you guys are fighting over something that isn't working and something that both of you aren't fighting for, if that makes sense. And the next question I get asked all the time is like, how do you deal with, you know, your marriage ending? And like, how are you, how do you move forward? Like, you seem so positive. You seem like you're able to just move forward. Like, how are you able to do this? And I would just say 100%, the only way I have been able to move forward and progress the way that I have is 100% because of my relationship with God. Point blank. Like, there's no other answer. Um, there's been so many days where I'm like, I really don't know how I'm still functioning um, with the stress of life, like between, you know, losing my dad to cancer last year and then losing my grandfather to cancer this year. And then uh, literally a month after I lost my grandpa, my marriage ended. And then taking care of three kids and running a business full time and providing for them. I would not be able to make it without God. And I know that sounds so like basic and cliche, but I'm just here to tell you that if you don't have a relationship with God and you are feeling empty and you're feeling hopeless, call out to him because he is literally the only thing that has gotten me through any of this. I I wouldn't even be doing I wouldn't even be doing YouTube if it wasn't for him. I'm going to be 100% completely honest to say you meet my journey to continue to was 100% God. Um, there was one night and I've mentioned this before, but there was one night in particular where, um, my marriage had ended and I was alone and I knew that I was alone and I knew that there wasn't really anything I could have done. And I stayed up all night praying and I just asked God to, to tell me what to do. You know, I was like, I have, obviously I have skills. I have a degree. Like I could go back to working like it's not like I was kind of asking like oh I don't know what to do but it was more of like what do you want me to do I want to go in the direction that you want me to go and I'm telling you guys it was the clearest answer I've ever had in my life um, I was crying and praying and I was awake all night and suddenly like a light bulb turning on God was just like you know what I want you to continue this journey in YouTube and it was all him because I was ready to give up. I was ready to walk away from YouTube. I was ready to just be done. And I feel like he was like, no, I want you to continue this journey and I want you to press forward. And I listened to that and I kept going. And here I am today. So when I tell you that God saved me, it's not just like a load of crap that I'm just saying or just like the cliche thing to say. Like, 
that is the only reason I'm still able to function. So, with that said, whether you believe in God or not, that is my answer. That is how I'm able to keep going in life. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things. It's been hard. It's been really hard. It's been hard to realize that an eight-year relationship that I really poured my heart and soul into is over. And it's hard to release that and know that there was nothing more I could do. Um, it's hard to know that I'm now a single mom. And if you would have asked me a year ago if I'd be in this position, I probably would have said, heck no. But this is where I am and this is my truth. And the more that I release that and allow myself to just be, um, the more peace I felt. I really don't have any magical advice to give you. Every situation is different. Um, you might be in a relationship where you're experiencing infidelity and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should leave that person. Um, every situation is different. You have to do what's best for you and you can't listen to the millions of people in your life telling you what you should do. You can only do what you truly feel is correct and right. Um, and a lot of that depended on God for me. Like without his advice, I would not have known what to do. So I would encourage you to call out to God and like spend some serious time in prayer. Um, I would also say that forgiveness and mercy is huge. And even though I've been through this entire situation, I am a firm believer that mercy triumphs over judgment all the time. Um, and God can work miracles in any relationship. So I'm not coming here to tell you from like a bitter single mom perspective, like just forget it and just walk out and whatever, like every situation is different. So please understand that I'm telling you, I'm giving advice from my point of view, but every situation is different. And I truly believe that intuition um, is huge and whatever you truly hear God telling you to do is what you need to do. Whether it's staying in that relationship and going to counseling and getting help or maybe it's walking away because you have done all those things and there isn't really any other option. Um, but please know that you are perfect and amazing the way you are and whether you're going through relationship struggles or not, whether you've dealt with infidelity, God has a plan for your life and there is hope and you are going to be okay. Even if in this moment you feel like everything is against you and you have no idea how it's going to work out, God has it planned and you are going to be okay. Um, so. I want to just speak to two different groups. To the group, um, to the people who are walking away from a relationship because it is over and you and you know that it's over and you're ready to walk off and ready to move into a new place in life. <coughs> spend this time. Spend this time on you. Don't spend this time focusing on the ex. Focusing on what could have been. Not saying that you you can't talk through that and. Um, deal with those emotions because you really do need to do that and I know that I'm still processing through that but know that th this is your time to shine and this is the time for you to focus on you um, whether that means making life changes emotional changes spiritual changes going to therapy um, everything that you need to do to equip yourself um, with the tools you need to move forward if you're in a place of healing in your relationship where you've dealt with this and you are still with this person and you are ready to make it work and you're going to counseling and you're all in, um, know that God has a plan for you too. And even if you feel like all the odds are against you, um, it's going to work. It's going to work. I just want to encourage you guys. There is hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And I have no idea what my future holds. No idea. And every single day and every single week is different for me. Um, and I have been dealing with a lot of doubts and a lot of questioning and a lot of just like, God, make it clear to me what you want me to do. But every time I ask, he has always provided me with an answer. And as much as I feel 
completely raw and completely like an open book. I just feel like if my story can help someone else, then some good can come of it. So here I am. Thank you guys so much for continuing this journey with me. I hope your 2018 has been amazing so far and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.